to this downer of Gary Patterson. So yesterday came out, Gary Patterson had used the N-word toward linebacker Dylan Jordan on Sunday to emphasize his point that Jordan should not use the slur during meetings, which is always a bad way to go about business. And then this morning, he issued a statement where he says on Twitter, I met with our seniors and leadership council last night about how we move forward as a team together. We are committed as individuals and as a program to fighting racial injustice of any kind. I apologize for the use of that word in any context. It is unacceptable. I have always encouraged our players to do better and be better, and I must live by the same standards. Our players, past and present, have always been the strength of our program. These men are and will always be my motivation and driving force. TCU Chancellor Victor Bashini, uh, excuse me, described the incident in the student media as a teachable moment for him and many others. Okay, now, tight end Pro Wells took Twitter to say, I don't care what y'all think, we're going to get through this and get back to work. Okay, let's unpack this, because this is not the first time that any football coach has used the N-word to try to emphasize the point that you should not use the N-word. The argument that I hear from people is, hey, I heard that word this morning in a rap song. Okay. Okay. Let me tell you why that's a bad thing to reference. Okay? The N-word is not a word that is to denote one black person. It was a word to denote an entire group that is my race. It was described, used to describe us as subhuman and to subjugate us. It's a word that was used ad nauseum in newspapers up until basically the 1980s. And while you have heard it in a rap song and will probably continue to hear it in a rap song, what you do need to recognize is the way in which that word is used. Now, the way that that word is used in most rap songs is to denote a friend, a foe, a brother, and maybe a dude you just pal around with. But it's also to try to take the fangs out of that word. Now, I don't use it with anyone. And I have come to saying dude. I've come to saying my girlfriend's word of fella, right? Which is her way of saying RJ, shut it down. But when you use it in the way that so many white folks choose to use it, we know what you're saying. It might as well be saying the F word, right? And it also goes back to this idea that there are some things that you just don't get to appropriate. There are some things you just don't get to do. As with white folks and wearing Native American headdresses, you don't get to do that. That's not yours. And it matters, right? Because culture is important. And when culture gets washed into something else entirely that becomes everybody else, it's no longer a tissue. It's a Kleenex. And now Kleenex loses that, that trademark and that brand. It no longer belongs to them. It belongs to everyone. I think that this word carries a tremendous amount of ancestral pain when you're talking about using it with the hard R. When you're talking about using it in words with the GA, perhaps not. But also, it's not just what you say, it's how you say it. And even when you mean well, it doesn't go over well. So why use it? Like, that's, that's really the long and the short of it. If I don't think you should say it to me, don't say it to me. Unless you're just trying to be contrarian. My, one of my favorite scenes in Rush Hour is Chris Tucker walking into the Blackpool Hall to talk to the black gangsters in the back. And he brings Jackie Chan along with him. And he tells Jackie Chan, do as I do and don't say anything until I tell you to say something. So, it being his 
town and his city and his neighborhood, Chris Tucker walks through saying, what's up, dude? And, you know, dude is, is substituted here. And we get Jackie Chan trying to fit in, trying, try, try, trying to be one of the dudes, but you ain't one of the dudes, okay? This, 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 this ain't China, okay? This is Crenshaw. So what I do love is that he said it. He said, what's up? And he followed with that word. And the bartender actually took a moment and said, what did you say to me? And gave Jack Chan an opportunity to back it down, to, to throttle it back. But no, he leaned in and he said it slower. And that's how Jack Chan ends up getting his butt kicked talking about, I don't want trouble. Nah, dog, you got trouble now. You got trouble now. And here's the thing that Talib Kweli had to say about using that word, especially when it denotes white folks and in particular white kids. The quote that I love that he gave to Spin Magazine is, if you want to stop white kids from going to concerts and saying the N-word, stop racism and poverty. Full stop. It's not on him or any of the rappers or to use that word to stop anyone from saying it directly to anybody else. But we can make a collective effort to end all these things that led to this idea of the N-word in the first place. Because racism exists to make racists feel safe. Racism, like slavery, was used as a tool to make in that particular instance, white folks feel better about themselves. There are many words to use here that we can use to, to bring each other down, to make a point. And I know all of them. I don't use them. Like we even get, you know, calls to the show, RJ, back down the language on, on damn and hell, and I try, right? But that's as far as it goes, right? That's as far as it goes. And when I talk about these things with... Many of my, I see many of my friends, my friends who are white, they get it. No, man, I'm just not going to say it, not because it feels some kind of way, but quite honestly, because I know that it offends you for me to say it to you. So why would I say that? Why would I want to offend my friend? Just as I would ask Gary Patterson, why would you want to offend your players? Why not just ask them not to say it? Hey, can you please respect the culture that I'm trying to build at Texas Christian university and not use that word and that's the other part that really bugs me about what gary patterson did this is a man who leans heavily on his faith this is a man who wrote a country music song earlier this friggin summer talking about can we all just get along i don't do hypocrisy man i don't do hypocrites if you're gonna be a mean cuss be the same mean cuss with everybody else you don't get to say that word to your players, let alone anybody. I appreciate the apology. Now, don't you ever let it happen again.